am so, so sorry for everything that has happened. Because in spite of what Mike says now, it is my fault. Because it was my project. And I insisted. Do you see this writing? Do you know what it means? Hospitality. And you can't piss on hospitality. I won't allow it! Little Red Riding Hood was a werewolf story. Of course, there have been many others. There's an old poem. Even a man who is pure in heart and says his prayers by night may become a wolf when the wolf bane blooms and the autumn moon is bright. Yes, but uh, what's this pentagram business? Well, every werewolf is marked with that and sees it in the palm of his next victim's hand. It needs to scare you. There's something in fear, something it can smell, something that tells it if there's anything inside someone that it might like. Every single move we make, from the mundane to the monumental, the red light that we stop at or run, the people we have sex with or won't with us, the airplanes that we ride or walk out of. It's all part of death's sadistic design leading to the grave. It rubs the lotion on its skin, or else it gets the hose again. <laughs> yes, you will, precious. You will get the hose. The tank itself was unusual in that it was vertical and looked like an old boiler. Inside the tank, the subject wore a heavy glass bubble, and you would have thought the whole contraption uncomfortable, to say the least. It was, however, effective. Of the 23 students tested, only two found the experience unpleasant. Some even called it exhilarating. I can walk, I can talk, I can even shit my pants. <gasps> can you shit your pants? Playtime! There are certain rules that one must abide by in order to successfully survive a horror movie. 
For instance, number one, you can never have sex. Yo. What's up? <laughs> to avoid fainting, keep repeating. It's only a movie. Only a movie. Only a movie. Bunch of slap jawed faggots around here. This stuff will make you a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus. Just like me. Goddamn rich cunt! I kill rich cunt! Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the baddest motherfucking clown of all? I'm talking about Killjoy.